so my name is Anna Maria Retta. I'm the site engineering manager here at our East York Bakery. My team and I are responsible for the capital investments at the facility. Our guiding principles here really at the bakery and within Mondelez is that snacking made right. So that really includes providing the right snack at the right moment and it's made the right way. And what's very important for us is that we make it in a safe manner here at the facility. Our facility makes a various range of different packaging formats here. So in front of me, you'll see we have the slug format in carton, but we also do small bags in boxes for like our kids' snack lines. We'll have a trade product cookies in an overwrap like the Oreo product. We also do stand-up pouches in a doin packaging or a trays in cartons as well. So today we're going to be looking at the formation of the product from how it gets exited from the oven all the way over to the to the end of carton. So this equipment was purchased from Syntagon with the support of Charles Downer and Co. back in 2017 when we started up that production line. Behind me you'll see what we refer to as our head of line. So this is where these strips of crackers come out of the oven and are accumulated up to the head of the packaging line. So from here, we'll, we'll actually break the crackers apart to individual lanes and they'll go into the end feeds of the packaging equipment. We have six legs that that product is split between. So across the six packaging legs that we have, we're able to process about 27,200 crackers per minute. This is where you see now the individual lanes are being separated. So the equipment we're going to see is an FGMT slug forming machine. Behind me is the FGMT machine. So this is one of the examples where we partnered and worked together with Syntagon to improve, improve the design of this equipment to make these forms easier to change over so that we have less maintenance time required. Those slugs are then taken to the HCS horizontal slug wrapper. The slugs of the crackers are sent to this machine to be sent through the flow wrap. We're able to process a range of 100 packs per minute all the way up to 700 and about 50 packs per minute. So after the slugs have been wrapped, as part of our food safety protocols, we have the product sent through a metal detector. And then behind me is a camera detection system. And then those slug wrappers are sent to the TTM top-loaded cartoning machine. So this is the TTM machine. So here we have the automatic carton folding process. Then the product is brought forward into lane where it's picked in place into the top open carton. And then from here, it's automatically glued and closed and sent off to palletizing. So the taller slugs that go into pack like this would run at about 100 packs per minute, whereas we have these little fresh stacks products that can actually run at about 750 packs per minute. So the safety of our operators is a very important part of our manufacturing process, and we've worked together with Cinchagon. So they've done a really great job at including interlock guards on the door with an interlock that actually holds the door closed while the machine is operation. And then we also have a trap door key system which will completely de-energize the machine and make sure it's safe for the operator. Right at the end of the TTM, we have an integrated date coder. This is actually a laser printed date coder. At the end of the line, we send the product uh, over through a check layer just to make sure that we have the correct weight within the product and it sends up the spiral to our Zambelli roof and shrink wrapper. So this machine behind me here is our Zambelli roofer and shrink wrapper. So for this particular format, we're putting together six cartons and then it's getting shrink wrapped into a bundle and this is the, the final processing step before it's sent over to palletizer. In addition to the Syntagon equipment, we also did work with Urimpienti to put in uh, robotic palletizers at the end of line. So we're at the end of the line at our palletizing station. So this is a Urimpienti palletizing machine, which is one of the affiliated companies that Charles Downer represents. One of the, the key things is really to make sure that we have a good handle on the baking profile, that we have the right level of moisture in the product, and then also making sure that we're handling the product gently as it goes through the, the various stages. Our team here at the bakery has learned a lot about how to manage breakage and I think one of the key things is they are able to react really quickly when we do see product breaking. So I definitely think one of the best things about this machine is the ease of changeover. We do need to be able to change over very quickly and reliably every time and definitely the Syntagon equipment has made it very easy for us to do that with direct drop-in toolless change parts and the recipe management so we can kind of just change between them quickly. Syntagon has definitely, they have a great understanding of the, of the process upstream even though they don't make the equipment they do strive to understand it, which shows in how they make their machines.
And one other thing that's always been great working with Syntagon and Charles Downer is their support in developing the project and making sure that the machines are going to work properly with our products. And then also optimizing the design. And after the installation's completed, they're still very responsive and supportive for um, whether it be we're you know, having issues on the line or if we want to introduce new product formats that need required change parts, they're always very supportive. So it's a great working relationship we have with them. And the projects we have moved forward with have a good track record. So, uh, you know, really excited to be able to continue working with them in the future.